because I think you're right. I think a lot of women suddenly go, oh, yeah, right, this isn't happening to me. Let me go and check. And yeah. then they go and check, and then they're suddenly given all these stats and figures that you sort of go, why have you kept this such a secret? Why aren't you, didn't you well, tell me this that's the ago? thing. I think there's a massive chunk of education that needs to be given to women about not being able to get pregnant, not the fact of don't, you know, just stop yourself getting pregnant for loads and loads of years while you're doing your career, but getting pregnant, it can be, and often is as you get older, an awful lot harder. Um, so uh, we just left it and just kind of thought, right, okay, well, we'll go to the doctors, get checked out. He got checked out, I got checked out. I've always had heavy, p painful periods, so I had a couple of laparoscopies where they look inside to see if anything's going wrong. There was a tiny bit of endometriosis, which yeah. is scarring, which they took off, but that shouldn't have had any effect yeah. on fertility. Uh, so, yeah. And then, and then they, do, they do the regular checks. They yeah, check his see, sperm and they check Oh, he was firing eggs. on all cylinders. Oh, I had not <laughs> Yeah. Which oh, is very proud really. of that. Good um, news. <laughs> but quite frustrating, because then you're going, well, what is it then? Because you just want to... At it. least if you know what it is, you might have a chance of diagnosing it, sorting it out, and yeah. getting a, on a road to treatment. But there was no reason. No. There was nothing. You know, they looked at both of our stats, both of our... My egg reserves, his sperm and um, everything was fine. It just wasn't happening. And you're having to keep it all a secret. From work, From work. Yeah, yeah, for the first time round, because that's also a problem. If you go to your employee and say, oh, I'm planning IVF, then, of course, they think, well, if it works, in nine months' time, you're going to be off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't really want to give them the indication that you're, you're, you might be off in nine months because it affects storylines, yes, it affects... Of everything. So you have to take, then, some measures. Yeah, as in kind of doing it... In lunch times, after work. And this is the IVF, this is IVI, the injections. Yeah. Because explain how it works then for anybody that's starting this journey, really. Because it's not Don't be scared, please. Yeah, that's that's the one thing. Don't be scared. It is fine. And it, millions of women do it and it's it's fine. It is hard, but you know, you do it and you inject yourself, which gets quite easy. You know, you just get quite used to Was it daunting for you at the, the start? Fat. Um, I think so, but I've always been that kind of person that just puts things on a list. Yeah. So it was just another just thing on the list. It was just another thing of injections and so is it a day one daily? How does it work? Uh, well, it depends what protocol you're on. There's yeah. short protocols and there's long protocols, which means it just takes a different period of time. And I also went on something called quad therapy, which means I carried on my injections during the first three months okay. of pregnancy. So I had two injections a day, including and tablets and suppositories and all the all lovely things, things, all sorts of things. Does it make you feel funny? I mean, do you feel uh, high and low? Is it like... Because, I mean, imagine your hormones are already... Yeah. All over the, shop. the first round we had, I found an awful lot harder. Um, I put on an awful lot of weight, a lot of bloating, a lot of emotional all over the place. Mm. Uh, and it's hard as a couple as well, because the man can often feel like he's just not having anything to do with it. Mm. Mm. But the second time round, once we found the right clinic and the right environment to do it, it was an awful lot easier. And how long was this process? Because it, it is difficult enough to try and conceive without having the treatment. Mm. But this, like you say, you're taking it to work, you're going home, you and Rudy are having this, this not battle between yourselves, but battle to try and fulfill this desire that you've had for 11 years. Yeah. Um, so just how difficult did it become? Well, it, it, it was fine once we got going. You know, it was five weeks of kind of injections and then you grow the eggs, basically. They, they stimulate your ovaries to produce multiple eggs. So you're carrying around grapefruit-sized <laughs> follicles inside you and then they harvest the eggs. So that's the hardest bit, is growing all the eggs. Yeah. We've got 19 that fertilised. Wow. But then, day by day, some of them kind of die or crumble or and then we were left with four that went to day five which is the optimum time to put them back in right talking then... of optimum <laughs> not one two yes yeah that was rudy's idea wasn't it <laughs> yeah two you just said he two was potent yeah yeah so, put two, so you knew that it could have ended up with the twins yeah but because we put two in last year and it didn't they didn't take i kind of thought well the the chances are just one if one takes that'll be brilliant and but i kind of knew because i just, just knew, knew. And then we did the scan and then I saw two sacks. And it oh, is. Yeah. Wow. You've got twins. And you yeah. know what the sex of the baby are. Two girlies. You've got two girls. Yeah. So all the girls. So Rudy is totally outnumbered by women. Yep. <laughs> and they're all going to be feisty like their mum. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> Hope I do feel sorry for him. Oh, we'll, we'll, <laughs> right. we'll give him a hug. No, yeah. it's absolutely brilliant. So Lola's going to have little sisters. And she she's is. been incredibly... You've, you've really involved her with this whole IVF process I think it's well. so important. I didn't want anything to happen behind her back. I wanted yeah. to be totally open with her. We both did. She's been to... 
scans, she's been to the doctor's appointment where we decided how many to put in. She knew about the whole process about how it works and that they grow them and, you know, how they turn into cells. Mm -hmm. And so she's been through the whole thing with us. Yeah. Uh, and an 11 year old girl must understand all of this now. She must be so excited. <laughs> she is. So excited. <laughs> she is. And you're away, obviously, you know, you're away from Emma now. You've finished. Yeah, I finished on Tuesday. Do we know how she exits? How long are you? Well, I mean, can't really ask you how long you're away I'm for. Not but are you away for very long, to be quite okay. honest with you? And it's not a big, we're not leading people up the garden path we're not saying you know something massive is going to happen okay i'm just disappearing for a bit and then I'll and then back. coming back okay yeah. we'll have to watch and well done for being so open about it because i think it helps lots of women because women don't necessarily yeah. i've just one of those weird ones isn't it that people don't really talk about i wish people reason. would talk about it more yeah. i really do alex jones did a brilliant fertility show mm -hmm. yeah a few months back before she announced that she yeah, was pregnant right. and i really want to do something in raising awareness yeah. of fertility for older women yeah. because it's something that isn't spoken about and it should be